I want to start by thanking the very dynamic, uh, progressive governor of uh, Kogi State, His, His Excellency Governor Yaya Bello, for inviting me to come and uh, look at some of his uh, developmental strides. I have come and we have been uh, inspecting a uh, vaudeville of projects. We have uh, visited the Kogi State Teaching uh, Hospital. And uh, we all know the benefits that inure and accrue to a teaching uh, hospital. We were briefed that uh, students in that, teaching, in that teaching hospital in the year 2015 were denied, uh, were, were denied their accreditation and because of that they were farmed out to uh, various uh, universities. And when, and when His Excellency came in, he promised himself that that will never uh, happen again. I am quite satisfied with the tectonic speed that has greeted and visited the, the bold and audacious attempt to ensure that uh, Kogi State gets a very viable, humongous and utilitarian teaching uh, hospital. We are told that by June next year, that teaching hospital will be, will be completed and uh, those who are responsible for accredi accreditation will be invited to come and do their accreditation. I want to thank him and we look forward to being part and parcel of those that will come and commission that uh, hospital. We have been, we, we have been peregrinating all the way from uh, Ayin, Ayin, Ayinba uh, up to uh, Ida. I am told that for as, for as long as 15 years minimum, that qualifies for donkey years or a period of iron. That this road has been in a very parlous state. This road has, has, been, has, been, has been completely ram, ram shackled and Governor Yaya Bello put again in motion an attempt to ensure that this road connects over 30 communities. So all the way from Ayingba to, uh, to Ida, no port or so far, and uh, 30 communities, the economy of 30 communities will be opened up. And the road is quite uh, durable. Uh, my greatest impression is that his choice of projects are projects that are not only infrastructurally of the moment, but they are projects that are sociological. For me, they are, legacy, they are legacy projects because they are sociological. And why do I call them sociological projects? I dub them so because they are projects that inure and impart on the lives and the modus vivendi of the people. It has utilitarian content. So we, we, we commend him, we eulogize him, and uh, may God continue to give him good life and good health to be able to finish these projects. All I can say is that His it's, 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 it's Excellency has distinguished himself thus far and has proven the point that when you give responsibilities, no matter how enormous or humongous or gargantuan they are to, to, to young men, they can uh, deliver. But for, for some of us, and I'm sure too for Governor Yaya Bello, we are all robots in the hands of God. My, my, my recommendation to people of uh, Igala and particularly to Kogians is to ensure that never again, never again should they suffer any political simki diswaga. Never again should they suffer and tolerate any political joker. So that going forward, there will be a political persona that will consolidate and this humongous achievements. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.